Okay, so I'm going to do some liquid cells. The new pigments from Genflow, Gen Art. Um, what I've done, I've mixed the Gen Art resin, um, 30 grams in each so far. Probably not going to use all of that on this. I don't know, you might do. Um, piece of MDF that's just got a black acrylic paint on it. Um, in here, I've got the a pure white um, pigment powder. In this one, I've got the Liquid Cells Orange, which is called... Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. Ember Orange. Um, so, to that, I think, I've been, I've been a lot of debate about this, but I'm just going to put a blue in with it. So we've got blue, white and orange. Uh, so we've got about 30 grams in there, and you literally just need a small amount of the paste. Um, same sort of ratios, up no more than 10%. I seem to settle in the middle at about 5%. But you kind of get to know what you're putting in. So it might be a bit shaky and I might knock the camera because I'm leaning around the side. Let's give that a good mix in. Now the cells are activated not only by the pigment, but the pigment, or not the pigment, the paste, liquid cells, actually likes heat. So obviously we're in the starts of winter here, so it's not always the best time to be doing resin. So just make sure that you're at room temperature and that you're resin is at room temperature as well. Right, I might come, try and come round the other side of the camera. Right. So I'm just going to lay some colours down, quite random. And I'm just going to let that settle down for a minute. Just let it decide where it wants to go. Going to pop something under there. And we dare say we'll watch it go the other way now. My uneven table. I'm just going to pop some air bubbles. Might look like a bit of a crystal in there. Turn this round. So you're still in the middle, are you? Hopefully. Yeah, okay. Sorry about all the moving. Right, so what I'm going to do is to use a heat gun. going to move these about. You, get, you see things starting to develop a little bit. 
No, I'll try not to keep jogging there. So we're just going to push these out. Okay, this should carry on developing. You can see all the time there's more and more coming out. So my resin wasn't that warm. But as the resin warms up, more cells should come out. Is that a cell or is that no that's a cell. I thought that was something in it but it's not, that's a cell. I'm liking this and I'm liking this. That orange and the blue and the white has really created a nice sort of um, peacock colour down there. I'm just going to give that a minute or two. And then perhaps go in with the heat again. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to develop. Just let it settle. And then we'll come back to it. Right, okay. So it's been about 10 minutes. And all I've done is, because I really liked an area over here. So I've literally just tilted and just let a bit run off of this edge. So it's just pulled it and it's stretched it. So I don't know if you can see got the glare of the ring light there but there's loads and loads of cells popping up all over the place still and it may well they normally do carry on developing so I'm going to leave it now oh, there's all sorts going on here um, I'm going to leave it now just to settle down rather than keep fiddling and then I'll post a final picture if I can get you over there. That one I did it just in between while I was waiting. So that's still developing. And I did a swipe on that. So I'll do a different video showing you how to do a swipe. Um, but for now, let's see if we can get him. Excuse the mess of everything. Getting on some of these. So that was three colours. On there. And there's loads going on. So as I say, I'll post final photo and then you can see how it's turned out.